looking at Hollywood, 2015 was the year of blank. What would you say defined this past year? Oh man, big questions. Change. <laughs> but a lot of good change. Well, for me, it was kind of flipped upside down. Now I'm here in Hollywood. <laughs> 2015 for me was all counting down to Star Wars coming out. Does it make me a bad parent if I pull my son out of school for the day to go see it? I think it might. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I smoke pot. I get confused between, like, was it one year ago? Was it eight years ago? It's very early in the morning. I would probably have to say it's a no-brainer. The woman. 2015 for Hollywood is is the year of noticing women. This year has been defined by conversations about women taking up leadership roles. Women's equality was the year of woman power, of course. Uh, I would say it was the year of empowering women. The future is female. Yeah. It was a really exciting time. There was so much dialogue and energy and amazing female-driven projects. It's the year of noticing a lot of the injustice with women and a lot of women coming out creatively and banding together. I think women are really speaking up about pay inequality. When I left the movie business 10 years ago, I thought we had solved that problem and I'm really, really sad to see that it's still there. But look, we can have lots of complex roles in movies and TVs and films and that we've got to get those voices out there because we're role models for the world. And that to me is something like what Lena Dunham's doing and Amy Schumer are doing. And they're like, this is who I am, so you either embrace me for that, but I'm not going to change for you. It's really exciting that now it's the main topic of conversation, and the question now is where do we go from here? How do we take that to the next level? With the power of all the women in this room and all the women in the industry, we will solve it this time.